In this video, I'm going to show you how you guys can dual boot Windows 10 and Chrome OS with Play Store support. So let's get started. So first, you guys need to open up the website called fighters.io. So if you guys don't know what is Fighters, this is based on Linux. You can also call this as a Chrome OS as well as the Android OS. You can also use uh, this operating system as cloud-based or simply as locally, which is very good. If you guys use Chrome OS, then you need to be online always. But with this Fighters, you have the ability to stay offline. It have a Play Store support. You can install any kind of APK in your Fighters. And yeah, it have a Linux as well. So let's download this. You can click on here to download and you can click on fighters for pc or if you guys want to install this on vmware then you can click on vmware i have a pc with intel processor and hd graphics which is pretty damn old so i will go with third gen intel processor if you have the amd style then you need to go ahead and click on this third button or if you have the modern computers with 9th gen then you can go to second all right guys so i have an old computer with third gen so i'm just going to click on first link now from here you guys will need to download this click and download and it should download you the image file as you guys can see there is a one because i have already downloaded this let me show you the downloaded file i have so this is the downloaded file that i have and next thing is that you need to download belina itcher you can go to belina.io and download this for your windows all right let's click there and download and now let's install this all right click and i agree and this should be installing please wait and there you go and then you need to make your bootable device now you guys need to hook your usb drive at least you need to have eight gigabyte all right i'm inserting you can flash from the file but before you flash the file you can see it have the dot x jet this is the compressed file so you will need to extract this so to extract this you can use winrar or 7zip i will recommend you guys to use the 7zip since it's open source it's free to download as well so you can see you can download this install 7zip on your computer we have installed 7zip extract this file by right clicking and so more and you will see 7zip option over here now click and extract files and click in ok and as you guys can see that we have folder extracted on here which is around 6 gigabyte now it have extracted us the img file you can now flash the file from here select this folder and select the img and click in open all right guys so now select the usb drive and then simply click and flash and this will take around five minutes so far and this depends on your write speed of your usb so all right you can see that we have flash complete so it's time to move on to my old computer so let's go all right guys this is my old potato computer you can say that you can see this is an msi laptop and it's an i3 uh, core inside it's msi cr43cm so let's go ahead and install the dual boot with windows 10 in this computer but before we go we also need to create the partition but i have already created a partition i was not able to capture since i have forgot recording this video sorry about that to create a partition i'm going to show you how to do that type here dix partition and you will see create and format hard disk partitions you need to click here you will see something like this so i have already shrink this volume to 48 gig it's around like 50 gig i have given so you can shrink this volume just like this and in this value you can see it's saying enter the amount of space to shrink if you don't know how much mb or gb it's, it is i would recommend you to go on google so in google you need to type here is gb to mb all right just type here gb to mb and you need to put whatever amount that you want to uh, sort out the space so let's say you want to give this like a 50 gigabyte then this is the amount that you want to copy and paste it over here it should extract the 50 gigabyte or is just like i have done over here so i have already done this so i won't be able to do this again and again since i don't have a multiple hard drive all right so i'm shutting down the computer and i'm going to plug this usb drive now i'm going to plug this usb in this computer you guys need to load up the bios all right so let's open up the boot uh, bios menu you can tap on dell key on msi if you guys are in other laptop then you will need to google it out and how to get on the BIOS. Next is you need to go to security tab and you need to scroll down until you find secure boot menu. Make sure this is disabled. If this is enabled, this will not work on your device and it will not let you install Chrome OS Flex. Do that, all right? Make sure to disable this. Also make sure that you need to put this on UEFI or it won't work, all right? So I have used UEFI with CSM, so it's fine. So you can also use like UEFI only, all right? So I'm going to use UEFI with CSM. Now I'm going to save, change and reset this and click on yes. 
All right, guys, I'm going to bring the boot selection menu here. So this is the boot selection menu. Now we need to choose here USB drive, which is UEFI generic flash drive uh, partition 12. Now you might ask me how there is refined boot manager since the refined boot manager is from Flight OS. So the refined boot manager is here because I have installed the Chromis uh, earlier. I have also deleted that. So now it's over here as it is but it won't work if I choose this. Now I'm going to choose USB drive and boot this up. So tap on enter. Now you will see here a blank for around five minutes so far, depending on your USB drive speed. All right, now the Fide OS has been shown up. So this took me around like a one minute so far. All right, the Fide OS logo has been vanished. And let's see if something is going on or not. All right guys, so it just boot up widescreen and my camera is not able to focus it out so just select this as a default and press an ok and then click on get start click on install Fide OS then click on next so as we are installing dual boot you need to click here on multi boot option or installation and then click on next choosing this menu is really slow as you guys can see it's loading up still so in this menu you need to be uh, patient because sometimes it doesn't show you so just wait for at least like a minute and it should show you deep drive just like this so I'm going to select 48 gigabyte and my EFI partition is over here. So you don't need to create a EFI partition. It will use the Windows EFI partition. And next thing you need to click here. You don't need to click anything over here below here. Just click recommend it and install. Now this installation might take as long as 20 minutes. Now as you guys can see that we have uh, completed the installation. Now shut down by clicking on this button. As you guys can see that cutting down. So guys note that you should not be unplugging the USB. I have stick the USB right here and my computer is not fully shut down right now. All right guys so my laptop is uh, fully shut down and I'm unplugging my USB as you guys can see that. So let's uh, turn on this computer. All right, so if you guys didn't see the refined boot manager, you need to go to BIOS as well, okay? So I'm going to restart my computer and I'm going to show you how to do that. So go to BIOS first. All right, so let's go to BIOS. You need to go to boot, this option, all right? You need to go to UEFI boot priorities. All right, so you need to go to this one, which is Hardix uh, BBS priorities. It should be like boot priority on your screen. So you need to find that, all right? or this will be like change boot order and from here you will be able to find boot options to launch the chrome OS flex or the Friday os you need to use refine boot manager so if you guys use the windows boot manager it won't work and you won't be able to uh, load up the flex os so you need to choose here refine boot manager add boot option one all right and then once you guys are done you need to save this out and change reset and Click on yes. So now after you do that, you will be able to see Refine Boot Manager. And from here, you need to choose Fight AOS and tap on enter. Now it's time to create an uh, account. Now you can see how fast this will boot as you guys can see that. So you need to click on OK and you can also check that sound. So get started. Now you need to choose your wireless. All right, so I'm going to connect my Wi-Fi and it should load you up now it's showing me chinese all right it's translate to english and accept and continue now fide always will ask you to create an account so if you want to create an account and use this like a chrome OS, then you need to uh, create an account on your fide os all right but still if you don't want to use um or create the account you can simply click here on use local account uh there is the local account i just want to use this just like uh, windows so right now i'm going to use this as a local account choose that and you need to type here your username and password you can simply put any password any random password you want to click on next and you guys are done so you can uncheck this and get started so there you go you have installed Fido successfully on a laptop and now you are able to launch windows 10 and Fido at once but let me show you how you guys can install play store and also you can see that we have activated the android subsystem itself so the Fido os it automatically uh, activated the android subsystem on your Fido os here we go we have an android it's just look like this and you can click on i agree and launch this and this is how it should look like your Android OS. All right, guys. So let's let me show you the preference here. 
the android os is about 9 which is pi obviously all right so let's close this now let's install play store you can install apk right now but if you want to install play store you need to go to store here and search for g apps so you guys will need to install this application from store and add to Friday OS and install this and click on add app. All right. So click on G apps or open up the G apps and click on I agree. Click on next and click on next and click on install and click on OK. If somehow you want to activate the Linux, you need to go to setting once again and type here a search for Linux. So you can turn on this. So you can just click and turn on and click on next. It's recommended as a 10 gigabyte and click and install. We're installing right now the Linux and G apps. All right, so we have installed Linux, but still G apps is stuck over here. I don't know what is going on. You can check the log as well. Yes, it's installing right here at 70% and it's installing. All right, let it install and you can see we can do sudo apt update and it's working, you can see that. Okay, so we have updated the Linux terminal here and still it's going on 20%. All right, so it's been done. Now you need to reboot this because uh, to log in, you need to reboot this, all right? Let's reboot this now. Now the Play Store will automatically add over here, okay? As you guys can see that, the Play Store has been added on our Friday OS. Now you can launch Play Store and you can sign in your uh, Gmail ID here. All right, so let's agree. So there you go. Now let's try to install something like games, maybe. Okay, where are we? Are we in the water? All right, now. Okay, so far so good. The keyboard is working and the mouse is uh, working as well. You can see that pretty much I'm, I'm not using um, touchpad. I'm using mouse, you can see this. As you guys can see, uh, the mouse is working. And I'm moving the keyboard right now. There we go. Um, alright, so that's it. That's it, guys. So we are not playing game for a long time. Well, so that's it. Let's try to launch the Windows at last. I'm going to restart this. Okay, so let's go to Windows. And there we go. Windows is booting up. So Windows is working perfectly fine. So, as I told you, I have very bad CPU and RAM management. So we can see. That's it, guys. This is how you guys can dual boot Chrome OS, Flex, or Friday OS with Windows 10. If you have any question, let me know in the comments. If you guys like this video, then drop a like or nuke this video with like so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace